Hey everybody, two boys, one brain cell. I'm Joel Norton, and this is Charles Peason what on up, no my way. left. And today we're checking out, there's a metalhead in the parking lot by Slapstick, and it is a Patreon pick. There's a metalhead in the parking lot? Yes. Oh yes, shit, there is. where at? Probably been a lot in my parking lot. <laughs> Probably. Me and all my friends are basically metalheads. <laughs> You're the yeah. you're the one of the few that's not. I'm I'm an exception, though. What's growing on him? You have a fit for. An I hour. love it live for sure. Mm -hmm. No denying that. I'm definitely not into metal as much as I used to be, but still definitely enjoyable. Shall we send it? You know, it. we're gonna play it through, dude, because it's only a little over two minutes. All right. Well, that was unexpected. Yeah. So what is up with Ska Punk talking about metalheads? All my best friends are metalheads by <laughs> Less Than Jake. As soon uh -huh. as this kicked in, I was like, <laughs> dude, same. What? I was like, D didn't we already listen to a metalhead song like this? <laughs> now, I'm going to confirm this real quick. Um, what did you think of the song, bud? Um, wasted time, wasted day. He looks so scary to me. I mean, that's pretty much the gist of what I got from it. <laughs> okay. Other than the fact that the instrumental was beautiful. It was wonderful. So before I say this and put my foot in my mouth, I'm going to check here. Vocally? That's what I thought. Yeah. I was on, vocally, I was on the fence for a short bit, and then I didn't care. It didn't sound familiar? To me? Yeah. Not fully. No. I'm pretty sure that's the lead singer of Lawrence Arms. Oh, okay. Okay. Which is even funnier because we just listened to a Lawrence Armstrong. Yeah, we did. <laughs> I was like, man, that sounds like a Lawrence Armstrong. And I had to double check, but our Patreon include that info for us. So we oh. appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Very nice. I, I definitely liked the uh, the mix of it. It was a nice uh, ska punk feel. And a little bit heavier on the punk than a lot of ska punk we've listened to. Yeah. You know how like a lot of it feels a little more like pop punkish. Oh, yeah. This definitely was more on the punk side. Oh, yeah. Defin but definitely held the grittier grit to the voice to grittier it. Grittier to the voice, yep, but, uh, but not too much. So that's what yeah. kept it kept it good for me because I don't like my ska punk real heavy vocally-wise. Like, I don't like the grit in my ska punk. Yeah. Typically. But this this did it for me. Dude, I just like ska punk. 
I know you're a sucker for it. Just as horns do. It's the horns. Those horns, man. Put you in some kind of mood. If, all, if a song's got horns in it, it's already up. <laughs> so where do you got this one fall? I got this one at a flat six. Okay. And I'm going to try it in a playlist. I'm going to go 6.6 and it's definitely going in a playlist for me. Hell yeah. Great pick. That was fun. Yeah. Definitely interesting to hear Lawrence Arms vocals, at least I'm, from what I'm gathering, yeah. um, with that ska sound. That ska punk, you know what I mean? Yeah. Because we, I don't think I we've think really that, heard any Lawrence Arms songs with yeah. ska sounding music, at least. Right. That I remember. Not that I remember. Yeah. So. It's good, though. Wait, we just listen to Lawrence Arms? This guy. This guy. <laughs> Guys, there you guys have it. That's our review slash reaction for There's a Metalhead in the Parking Lot by Slapstick. There's a Metalhead next to me. I'm scared. Ah. Uh, <laughs> time to start a pit. All right. <laughs> uh, I'm Joel, and that's Charles Beeson. Make sure you drop down in the comments on who gets that brain cell. If you want to have a little fun at our expense. Oh, yeah. And do us a favor, smash that like button and hit subscribe. Until next time, guys, peace out. Peace.